Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be kind of reacting to a video by the Yellow Flash. It's regarding the Star Wars Outlaws. I'll be honest with you, the game has not really piqued my interest. I've played the last two Star Wars games that came out, uh, Jedi Survivor and Fallen Order. Those were pretty good. This has a similar look as far as the environment goes, but I haven't been impressed with what they've shown. Uh, but it looks like there's some little bit more drama surrounding this whole thing. So let's react to his video and uh, yeah, see what he's got to say. Now, he is a little bit of a slow pacer when it comes to talking. So I will probably watch the video in 1.5 speed to begin with just to see how that works. I'll slow it down if I need to. IGN has been going hard in the paint for Ubisoft over the past month or so. I okay, you know what? I will go to 1.25. I'll do that. Like every day, there's something new with them defending Ubisoft and their games. Uh, the big two that they've really been going out of their way to defend is, of course, Star Wars Outlaws and Assassin's Creed Shadows. Yeah. More so Star Wars Outlaws because that game comes out. The articles and the tweets they've been putting out for both of these games has been crazy. I haven't seen them push. I mean, it's weird. I mean, you would think the marketing team or the PR team for the game itself would be doing this, but IGN itself has been putting out a lot about these games. They're really pushing this hard. I don't know why. I don't want to make any assumptions, but man. At the end of the month, I think on the 25th is when this game finally drops. Now, Assassin's Creed Shadows is a little bit further away. It comes out in, like, October, I think. So this game should be pretty close to done. It should be done, actually, because it ships in 20 days or so. Yeah, if it ships in 20 days, it's, it's done. So that, that tells me everything we've been seeing, it's final. There, there's no touching up. There's, there's nothing they're going to do to this uh, out the box. They may do something down the road with, like, a day zero or a day one patch, but... I mean, if you got to do something like that to fix some of the, just the visuals of the game, you shouldn't be releasing trailers, not trailers, uh, gameplay videos. It's, it, you're just damaging your brand at that point. So it should be finished, but I don't think that's the case. I've seen two preview builds. Yeah. IGN has shown them both, and there's, there's obviously AI issues with this game, and there's frame rate problems. It hasn't been good. At least on whatever version they're showing, there's frame rate problems. So this game is a half-baked mess. And like I said, this is separated from the criticism of the main character. Who, by the way... Th like hey, speaking of main character, what I do find funny is how this, this clip here that IGN uses for their tweet, she looks 10 times better in this clip than she does in any portion of the game that I've seen so far. This is a much more flattering picture, but she still looks bad. So you have... The director of the game, the creative director, come out and say that it's not worth engaging with these people that criticize Kay's looks. They're doing it in bad faith. Okay, real quick. How, how, how is criticizing the main protagonist's design, which is that's, that's what you're doing when you say she, she doesn't look good or she's not attractive enough or she's ugly. You are criticizing her design. How is that in bad faith? Are, are you implying that they're just saying that, that they don't truly think the character's ugly? I, I, I don't believe that at all. All you're doing is you're, you're invalidating some valid criticism that people have, and there are people out there, which I'm one of, that likes to have attractive characters that they play, be it male or female, especially if it's female. I want to look at an attractive character, whether it's their backside or whatever, because a lot of times if you're in third party, uh, like POV or third person POV, you're, you're going to see the backside. You're not going to see the face all the time, but there are times in any game, Stellar Blade, First Ascended, where you see the character's face, whether it be cutscenes or you run the camera around to the front, you need the character to be attractive. Just like with guys, there's a lot of guys out there, they don't play girls. They play badass guys. Do you think they're going to want to play a game if the character's not looking like they're roided out and can beat the hell out of somebody with just their pinky? No, they're not going to want to play some soy boy, better male character in their game. Not at all. They're not going to like that. 
This comes from an interview that he did with the Washington Post where they asked about the discourse that some are pushing on social media that Kay isn't attractive enough. His response, don't give that conversation attention. Kay is meant to be approachable, a petty thief who ends up barreling through this story. Approachable only means ugly in this case. Making bad decisions and centered with a lot of humor, humility, and toughness. What's more important... This whole description here just sounds like they're describing someone who's ugly. They may very well be ugly themselves. I don't know. It's like when... Someone describes an ugly person. You're going on a blind date and you're like, oh, what's she look like? Or, or tell me about the person. And looks is never something they, they really touch on that much. A lot of times they'll talk about all these other aspects of the character. And look, we know. You know how you describe someone who's ugly. You talk about and try to, you know, stand up their other features. And that's what they're doing here. A lot of humor, humility, and toughness. But she's ugly. That's, that's why he's basically doing it. To me, that's more important to me. And she's beautiful. Come on. Yeah, she's no, like I don't think so. <laughs> like a man Vulcan. Okay, not in that picture. So, listen, this is a fake character. This is not a real woman. All right? Nobody's feelings should be getting hurt. Now, they've tried to push this on the actress. I agree. I don't think anybody's feelings should be getting hurt. It's, I just think a lot of the people who make these games, these devs, they're fat, they're ugly. They have low self-esteem about themselves, and they can't bring themselves to making attractive character. And this is not what the actress looks like. No, looks and nothing I like her. I talked about this briefly in yesterday's video, and I should have shown what she looks like, even though I've shown her before. I should have done that, so I'm going to do that now. The reason that a lot of people are talking about this is because they obviously made massive changes to the actress that they used for motion capturing. Yep. And it doesn't make any sense to me why they changed. And the picture on the right is even, it's a flattering picture of this person as far as the character in the game. That's, she does it. There's many other times or instances in uh, gameplay, trailers, screen caps I've seen of this game where this character looks 10 times uglier just due to lighting and other things. They didn't do her any favor. And she doesn't look anything like her actress. I, I don't see her at all in this person. You got the lip here, the nose. The chin, the hair is just got awful ugly. It reminds me of Sigourney Reaver from Aliens. Don't get me wrong. She was hot in that movie. But you know what? That hair was a product of its time, and it needs, it needs to stay there. It doesn't need to come back. I'm sorry. Changed her face. So on the left is the real face behind the face. And she's pretty. This would have been fine. I don't understand. Well, actually, I do understand. Yeah. Yeah, we know why, why they it. didn't use her face. Well, because, well... Uh, to have know. another pretty face would make a certain group of people very upset. Yep. Uh, because they'll never look feminine like this. They can't. That's not how they were born. And because of that, there seems to be some kind of push in the video game industry where we need to make women look gender neutral. Which, it baffles me. We live in a society where we praise women. Well, certain parts of our society does, at least where you praise women for having only fans and other things, you know, you know, embracing their sexuality, you know, free the nipple, you know, feminism, the, you know, the feminine form is beauty. You know, they talk about all this crap, but then these are the same women that'll turn around or the same people could be guys too. That'll turn around and talk about how bad it is to have an attractive woman in a video game. They're like, Oh, well, why don't you just go fat to porn? Instead of just understanding what people are trying to say, they just immediately make that jump. It just baffles me how, how we've gotten to this part or how we've gotten to this point as a society. They very obviously changed this woman's face. They changed her nose. They changed yep. her eyebrows. They changed her cheeks. They changed her chin. Looks, the, the lips look around the same, but the chin, the cheeks, the eyebrows, the nose, all that has been changed. Yes. Ugly. They even gave her a crooked nose. I don't know if you can tell. And like I said, this is a flattering picture of her. The, the one on the right, the in-game character. You can see that there's like a... On the left, she's cute. They went out of their way to try Not to... Not porn star level of attractiveness like I'm people will try you. to there's always there's assume. One. Oh, yeah. See, that's the picture I've seen of her. Is they'll say, we didn't change her face. That's the same face. Like, you're stupid. Like, bitch, I can Looks see. Looks nothing like her. I can her. see. 
There's no way you're going to tell me eyebrows. they didn't they, do don't anything. Don't those look like Vulcan eyebrows? They're not the same. I don't know They're about Vulcan same. eyebrows. And it's funny to me. They'll come out and say, well, it's harder to do a woman's face. You sure about that? How come? It's not harder to do a woman's face. That chick who was in the two Star Wars Jedi Survivor and Fallen Order games. The, the, I can't remember her name. Star with the C. She looks exactly like her, her face model. Exactly like her face model. And then I saw her in some other game. She was the model for another character. And would you know that I immediately knew who she was? How do you think I recognized her? Because they made her look the exact fucking same. There's, it's not difficult to do this. We know they can do it. We've seen other developers do it. Look at the Korean devs. They do it just as well as, as anybody possibly can. But they're going to tell us that it's impossible? Bullshit. Bullshit. From the man's faces look pretty much spot on every time. It's only with the women that they yeah, do this. Exactly. And that's why, yeah, I do think they're trying to make them all gender neutral. Right? And I'm, I'm just saying that. And, and you know, to be fair, I do think he's got a point. Let me see if I can pull this up. I can't find it, but there was a, a post on X where they compared female skins in the past versus skins they've released now. And I've said the exact same thing to my uh, younger kid who plays Fortnite. I'm like, have they done something to these skins? I feel like they've basically made the women flatter on both the front side and the back side. They they took away some of the curves. And well, some of the skins, yeah, they basically look non-binary. You take the female's head off and put a male's head on the body, you, you wouldn't know. I mean, it's I, I don't understand the push here. It's like they're afraid, like boobs scare them or butts scare them. and. I don't know. I, I miss I miss the eighties and nineties, you know, in the eighties where you had Sir Mexalot. That's that's what I wish we, we could go back to. Look at the way they draw the the uh comic book X Men characters, for example, back in the nineties. Holy shit. Man, I, oh my god. The women, Rogue, Storm, Psylocke. Oh my god. And then they you look at them now in the cartoons. It's like, are they even girls at this point? If it wasn't for the long hair, and sometimes you even have to wonder then. It's I, they're just they're just afraid of of the female beauty for whatever reason. Obviously, there's games where this doesn't happen, but it's it's mostly a thing in AAA games. And I wish I had it on hand. There's a meme that's got a lot of the modern Western female characters in it, and they all have these masculine features now. Yep. But the chin tell me that the this is the same face unaltered. That's disingenuous. People can see. It's a lie. These are not the same. Well, there's resemblance there, but that's because they nah, used to I don't even see the resemblance, to be honest with you. Here's another one. So <laughs> this is uh, AI making the face on the right more like the actress. If if she looked like the picture on the right. Oh, to be fair, I don't even like the face on the right. I don't think AI did a good enough job with it. I think it needs to be a little bit better looking. I, I, I don't like it. I mean, I would take it over the one on the left, but I, I just, I don't like it. Not at all, but they did make her look prettier. They did make her look like she's a little bit chesty. They removed some of the tattoo. I'm assuming that's because they added boobs. Um, I think it's the hair that throws it off for me here with this face. I, I just don't like it. I'll, I'll be honest. Right. I don't think we would be having these conversations about what she looks like. But here's the thing. And he's got a point. We wouldn't be having these conversations about what she looks like if they just made the character look like the model that they use. The character, the model could be ugly. The model could be average. The model could be drop-dead gorgeous. As long as the model reflected what you got in the game, I don't think people, well, I don't think you would have people complaining about the differences between the two. You may still have some people just saying, hey, I don't like the ugly character, but you know what? That's fine. They have every right not to like the way you made your protagonist. Look, you make a game, there's going to be people who, there's going to be people who don't like it. You can't make everybody happy. You, what you have to focus on is making a good game that makes the vast majority of your player base happy. 
if you're turning people off by all this other drama that surrounds your game, well, you're just making that player base smaller and smaller and smaller with each game you put out, and eventually your games are going to fail or not produce enough revenue to make it worth going through the five to six years that it takes to develop these games. And they're so disingenuous, they don't want to talk about it because they know everybody's right. Yeah, so they well, just they do. call you they a misogynist right. and all the usual playbook yeah. names that they go after people with. Could they try to shut you up by calling you racist, misogynist, or bigot, whatever. What they don't understand is that just doesn't work anymore. That worked five years ago, but now that you're not getting banned on Twitter for speaking your mind anywhere near as often as you used to, a lot of people don't give a fuck anymore. They're going to tell you what they think and what they don't like. But you don't accept their horse shit. And honestly, this isn't even, this is not even the, the major conversation to have right now. Talking about the half fake gameplay and mechanics in this game, I think are more important than this. I disagree. I, I think it's on the same level. It's all part of the game. Now, you'll have people who don't care about the character design, fair. And that's where the gameplay comes in, into mind. But then you're also going to have people who do care about the character design. And sometimes you'll have people who care about both. So you're, what you're doing is you're already giving people a reason not to play your game if they think your character design is ugly and they don't like it. Then you've already, you've already shortened the pot of your player base. You've already taken that pie and you've cut out pieces of players that aren't going to play your game by your character design, because of your character design. Then when you take your gameplay on top of that, you're, you're whittling out even more of your player base that's not going to play the game. Some people don't care, but I do think it's on equal foot because there are people who do care. And sometimes there's people who care about both. Because the game is broken and they're just going to release a broken game. Now, maybe they'll fix it. Maybe in the next, over the next two weeks. Maybe. Uh, we will get Damage will probably be done, though. Day one patch that fixes everything. You won't everything. get people to play to, to the numbers that uh, usually these kind of last they would have got if the game had had good and positive uh, reviews and critiques from YouTubers to begin with. Like, if the game looked good, you would have been fine. But the game doesn't. The character designs don't. So it doesn't matter how much you try to fix it, you most likely aren't going to get anywhere near the success you would have if you'd have just done it right to begin with minute things create more bugs uh, but we'll see maybe it'll run fine but judging from the play builds that i've seen in these preview videos this game looks like it's going to be a mess yeah i did not like the play builds that, that i saw and focus on this now which is funny i do wonder what the pre-order sales for this game look like i think it'll be really interesting to see how this game sells what the amount of what like what the i don't pre-order uh bethesda or ubisoft games anymore at all um, I will not. If they want me to buy their game, they need to win me over once I see the gameplay and I see the actual character designs in the game. At this point, I, I don't trust them. Steam count is when it launches, because I'm pretty sure this game is going to be on Steam. In fact, let me double check. No, it is not. It's not going to be on there. So it's what? It's going to be in the Epic's game store? Oh, that's going to help sales. <laughs> yeah that's gonna help sales i get what they're trying to do they're trying to break out of that steam monotony i would imagine um i also believe that steam probably requires them to give them a certain percentage of their revenue for having a game up on steam so i that's why you're seeing a lot of these a lot of these game devs or game companies starting to come out with their own game launcher they're trying to get away from steam i think and that's both a good thing and a bad thing. You know, bad thing for them because people might not play the game if it's not on Steam. I don't know. Because they may not want multiple launchers. People don't like multiple launchers. It's like streamers uh, or streaming uh, companies. You know, back in the day when it was just Netflix and Hulu, people were cool. You know, you get both. Sometimes you get one. But now that everybody's got their own streaming company, it's, it's, it's horrible. It's so expensive. And now, granted... Um, I don't think you have to pay for these launchers, obviously, but they do take up space on your computer. And, you know, people sometimes are a little touchy on it, and they may not want to have multiple game launchers. So I, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. I think in the short term, 
it probably will hurt the game sales. But if you really want to go away from Steam and give uh, a third option for a game launcher other than Steam, this this is your only way. If you don't do it, it will never happen. I'm sure. So, yeah, this game is a hard pass for me. Now, if you want to buy the game, that's up to you. Agreed. Uh, I, I'm just I'm done with Ubisoft. I've been done with them for a while. Yep. Uh, this year has been the nail in the coffin with them for me. But uh, to sit there and say people are being disingenuous, this is mostly what they do when they talk about it. They're talking about the fact that she didn't use the actual actress's face. I don't think there would be any conversation around this if you'd use her actual face. I agree. Because on the right, she looks pretty good. It's yeah. fine. Looks okay. I hate the uh, hair. But they decided to completely change her face to make a certain segment of the population happy. And that's not the segment that really brings in any money at all. In fact, when you cater to the to the mob and to the losers, uh, you usually end up becoming a loser. Generally, I would agree with that. So enjoy the shithole you've put yourself in, Ubisoft. And I'll be honest with you. I don't always like to root for people to fail, but I, I really hope this fails for them. I'm hoping Assassin's Creed fails. I don't think it will. I do think it's probably been hurt by some of the drama, but I think Assassin's Creed was a big enough franchise with enough established with it's a it's an established enough IP that I think it will survive. I just don't know how much it'll get hurt. But I don't think it'll get hurt enough to the point where it flops. At least not initially. Now, if the gameplay itself is horrible. And where the mouth gets around, then that could be a different story. But um, I, I do hope it fails. And I hope this game fails. Not because I want to see people laid off, but I think game companies need to stop with this crap and start. They need to start pandering to the fans, to the people who actually buy the games, to the people who actually play their games. Give people what they want, regardless of what you think of those individuals. That's You're just stupid. You're, you're dumb. Why... I don't understand. I know why they do it, I, but I still don't understand. Knowing why and understanding why are two totally different things, and I don't understand the mindset of these people, and I probably never will. But hey, that's the video, guys. Give this guy a shout out, uh, uh, Yellow Flash. Go check his channel out. I'll have the video posted down below in the description. He's a good content creator. Um, go take a look, and uh, if you liked the video, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys next time.